Welcome back, everybody. In this lesson, you will learn how unemployment, economic growth, and international trade change what country can consume. By the end, you will be able to explain why a weak economy sits inside its possibility curve, why growth pushes the curve outward, and how trade allows people to enjoy more goods than they could ever make on their own. Imagine an economy that can make only two things, pizzas and industrial robots. The production possibility curve, or PPC, shows the maximum combinations of pizza and robots that are possibly when every working machine is being used well. During deep downturns, many people out of work in many factories sit idle. On a graph, that is point inside the curve. We'll call it a U. At point U, the country is making fewer pizzas and fewer robots than it could. If hiring improves and factories restart, the economy moves from U back toward the curve. That movement raises output for one or both goods without needing two resources or new technology. It is simply better use of what already exists. Growth means the economy can produce more than before. On the graph, the whole curve shifts outward to the right. There are three big drivers to the outward shift. First, large supplies of resources. A growing population adds workers and entrepreneurs. New mineral deposits are discovered. Better irrigation creates more farmland. Second, better quality resources. Education and training raise worker skills. Health improvements make more workers more productive. Third, better technology. New methods like smarter software that schedules production allow more output with the same input. When these factors improve, the country can make more pizzas and more robots at the same time. That larger potential output is economic growth, and it raises living standards if the new capacity is actually used. What we choose to produce today shapes how much we can produce tomorrow. Think of two categories on the axis, goods for the present and goods for for the future. Goods for the future include capital equipment, research, education, preventative health care. These create growth later. Goods for the present include everyday consumer items like food, clothing, and entertainment. Now comparing the two countries that start the same, present view chooses lots of present goods and a few future goods. Future view chooses more future goods and fewer present goods. Later, future views PPC shifts outward more than present views because it invests invested in the national factory. Later, future views PPC shifts outward more than present view because it invested in the national factory. The opportunity cost was fewer consumer goods today, but the payoff was more capacity tomorrow. Neither choice is automatically right or wrong. It reflects different preferences, but the trade-off is clear. More future goods now usually means faster growth later. A single nation by itself is limited to its own PPC, but with the international specialization in trade, a country can consume beyond the limit. Here's the idea. Countries specialize in goods they can produce at lower opportunity costs. They then trade for other goods. Poles our country makes robots at a low cost and another country makes pizzas at a low cost. If we specialize in robots and trade robots for pizzas, we can end up with more pizzas and more robots than we can achieve on our own. There are two different ways to enjoy more goods. Expand domestic capacity through growth and expand consumption through smart specialization and trade. Unemployment places the economy inside the PPC. Moving back to full unemployment raises output without new resources. Growth shifts the PPC outward through more resources, better resource quality, and better technology. Choose more future goods today, like capital and education, usually leads to faster growth and a bigger PPC in the future. Specialization and trade let a nation consume beyond its own PPC by swapping what is best for what others make best. Avoid common reasoning mistakes. Do not let bias or loaded terms drop your conclusions. Do not falsely assume that what is true for one person is true for everyone. Do not assume that because one event comes before another, it caused it. And remember, correlation is not the same as causation. Now you can explain how employment and growth and trade change what an economy can consume. Inside the curve is waste, outward shifts are growth, and trade stretches what people can enjoy. Make sure you guys comment below if you have any questions or you have any comments if you learn something new. Make sure you leave a like, share this video with someone who's getting into economics, and they just want to get a basic understanding of financial literacy. Love you guys. Make sure you copy the latest merch, Yahweh. I'll see you guys in the next one. We out.